Hello! Thank you for choosing Berkeley City College for your academic journey. To get started as a student, there are just a few steps to get you on your way. To help you through that process, we have created this video as a comprehensive guide to enrolling. Please enjoy. Creating an OpenCCC account, you're going to create a username and password. Make sure you take note of that username and password in case any issues with finding your student ID number occur. When filling out your OpenCCC application, make sure you fill it out to the best of your abilities because any misspellings or inconsistencies can cause issues later down the road. And do remember, you're creating this account so you can have access to the BCC application. This is not the application for Berkeley City College. Returning students. If you're a returning student, the process is a little bit different. You will not need to create a new OpenCCC application. You will just need to renew your account. If you want to renew your account, click the Forgot button on the OpenCC login page and it will help you retrieve your username and send you a reset password to an email of your choosing. You will need to fill out the Berkeley City College application again. This is just going to have you update some information because you was gone. Remember that you cannot create a new OpenCCC application because it is tied to your social security. Complete all the required information on the application. Once you've completed the application, you'll be receiving an email from admissions at peralta.edu. Be on the lookout for this email in the next 24 to 48 hours. Getting your welcome email from admissions.peralta.edu. You should probably save this email because it contains really important information such as your student ID number, your student email address, and the password for both of those. Your student ID number, it comprises of eight digits, it never contains letters, and it usually starts with the number one. This is used to log into your passport and also your student email. Your student email is gonna be your student ID number at cc.proto.edu, and that's what you use to log into Canvas and your student email as well. The student email is powered by Outlook, and you can download the Outlook app or use the web page. The password is also gonna be in the email and is the default password for both your passport and your student email. For returning students, you will receive a welcome email back, but this email may or may not contain your student ID number. If you don't have your student ID number, you can always come to the admissions and records office with a government issued ID and we will give you your student ID number. Berkeley City College no longer offers math and English placement tests in person because we strive to place students in transfer ready classes as soon as possible. Math is self-placement and you will need to meet with a counselor to discuss your previous math coursework. Bring your unofficial transcripts and course descriptions. We also have an online questionnaire that will help you decide which math courses are appropriate for your major, career goals, and foundations in math. For English, most of our new students begin in English 1A. We have an online placement test to help determine whether or not it'd be beneficial for you to enroll in an English 1A class with extra academic support. If you wish to be in English 1B, you can clear your prerequisite of 1A by meeting with a counselor and bringing an unofficial transcript to prove that you passed English 1A. If you are planning to take an ESOL class, English for Speakers of Other Languages, or English as a Second Language, you will need to take a placement test which takes place in person. You can make an appointment via phone call or email, or by coming into our assessment office on the first floor of the Learning Resource Center. We have several scheduled dates for ESOL placement tests, and you can find these dates online. We also have an in-person placement test for chemistry if you need support finding if you should be placed in chemistry 30A or 1A. AP705 eliminates standardized tests. You can meet with a counselor and bring your unofficial or official transcripts to clear the prereqs and enroll yourself into the classes that you want to take next. As a reference and resource, you can do the online self-placement tool to see where you would rank in your first math and English courses. An unofficial transcript would be a transcript that you would order from your school, which will come in a sealed envelope. Take caution though, because if you open that seal, it will make it unofficial and it would not apply to our college. Secure your funding. There are a couple different options for financial aid offered here at BCC. Click the link in the description to learn more about these programs. FAFSA. FAFSA is a form completed by current and prospective college students in the United States to determine their eligibility for student financial aid. If you're interested in applying for FAFSA, consult your school counselor or stop by the financial aid office here at BCC. California Promise. For eligible California residents, the California Community College Promise Grant permits the enrollment 
fees to be waived. CalWORKS. CalWORKS is a state-funded program designed to support training needed for CalWORKS participants to succeed both in their educational and employment goals. As a CalWORKS participant at BCC, individuals join a supportive group that acts as a liaison between the students and the county. California Dream Act. DACA allows children who were brought here into the U.S. under the age of 18 without proper documentation or visas, who have attended school on a regular basis and otherwise met in-state tuition and GPA requirements to apply for student financial aid benefits. If you think you might be eligible for any of these forms of financial aid, check the financial aid tab on the apply page. Now that you've completed steps one through five, you may meet with a counselor. You can meet with the counselor up on the second floor. You can use your student ID number, come up here and ask to make an appointment. Appointments are generally 30 minutes long and you would be able to create your student education plan or map out your career plan for the rest of, the, the rest of your time at Berkeley City College. In addition to our 30 minute appointment up on the second floor, you may also come downstairs to the first floor and have a 15 to 20 minute appointment with a quick stop counselor. Um, to do that, you can use your student ID number and put it into our computer system right here and the counselor can call you up when they're ready. These appointments generally consist of mapping out classes for the upcoming semester and also clearing prerequisites and goals. In addition to quick stop counseling, if you are unable to make it into our school, um, second floor counseling also does offer phone appointments. So you can uh, give them a call at 510-981-5036 and ask for a phone appointment and they should be able to accommodate you. In order to enroll for classes, go to passport.peralta.edu. Your user ID will be your student ID number and your password, both something that you should have received in your welcome email. Click Student Center, Enroll, and then proceed to add the class. If you have any more questions, please go to Admissions and Record for assistance. Paying for classes. You can pay through our passport system online where you would click on the make a payment section or you can come down to the first floor to our cashier's office and pay in person. We accept cash, credit, or checks. You can get a student ID card at the front desk on the first floor. You will need to provide a government issued ID and proof of enrollment like a class schedule from your passport account. Your EasyPass is a clipper card that can be used any day at any time to go anywhere on AC Transit for free. You can also use this card on any transit service that accepts clipper cards, such as BART and Caltrain, but you have to put money on it. 